Ezra and her great grandma Betty finally got to meet. We all drove up north for Aunt Kate, that's Ezrin's great great grandmother's 99th birthday. We used to do Christmas family reunions with the side of the family, and I really miss them. I love these people. Happy birthday, Aunt Kate! As in starting to do a little imitating. Either that or both of us were in the mood to stick our tongues out. I guess either way is possible. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I flubbed the location of a touch a truck event we were going to go to one morning, so instead we went to our local firehouse. The firemen were absolute gentlemen. It was so cool for Sagan to see. Our visit dramatically ended when they got a call. Watch the firemen wave out the window to us as they drive by. <coughs> Halloween's still a few months away, but Sagan's current plan is to dress up as a fireman. <coughs> Shaving cream has been a big hit recently. Our coffee table has never been so clean. We always start out practicing shapes and letters, but by the end, he usually ends up needing a bath. We went to the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery again for the first time in a long time. Big news in Sagan's world, he has started potty learning! Sticker charts like these are not Montessori. Actually, really the only thing about any of the potty training stuff that we did that was Montessori is that we are very respectful about it. There's no high pressure or shaming or anything. But there are stickers and Hot Wheels and ice cream. Daddy and I have both really missed the street tacos from back when we were living in LA. When we were living on the road, we tried taco places all over, including in Arizona and Texas, and nothing came close to Los Angeles. But can you believe it? Here, in Ohio, these are perfectly awesome street tacos. Sagan agrees. They gave him a free little cup full of samples to help him celebrate his first chart being filled up. I found this super cheap swing on Timu, and Dad installed an eye bolt in the header up here. Sagan hasn't been able to get enough of this swing. Swings are to toddlers as maybe catnip is to cats. Then we met Granny and Grandpa at Young's Jersey Dairy. This place has been an area icon since before I was a kid. It seems like every time I turn around they're adding some awesome new attraction. This time it's this amazing carousel. From what I understand, the owners spent an outrageous amount of money getting these adorable dairy cows, these prancing dairy cows, designed and cast for their carousel. If you ask me, worth every penny. Sagan got to feed the goats and see the baby animals inside the barn. So much has changed, but the inside of this little barn looks absolutely identical to when I was a kid. <laughs> These are the same tractors that were here when I was a kid too. There you go, turning the wheel. One more ride in the carousel before we have to go home. Good night, everybody.